Madeira looks nice, bit pricey though. Now is not the time to be talking about holidays. Excuse me? We've got all these bills from before Christmas. Shove behind the toaster. Might have to dip into your savings. Uh, no, that's our holiday account. Well, it's bread and water until Easter then. Look, if you need extra money for bills, why don't you ask Laura? I mean, she's living here completely rent free. There was no hot water for a bath this morning. She dogged it all. Let's put the immersion on. Give the girl a break, eh? No, I'm not giving up my holiday to subsidise her. Nan? I'm not asking her. Gary? Why me? What do you reckon? 50 quid a week? Sounds reasonable. Off you go, Gary. She gets on with you. All right? Mm. Listen, something's come up. I know, I heard. Lynn should learn to keep her voice down. Well, what would be best is if you were able to tell them that you're moving back in with Ian's and then she'll shut up about it, all right? Something's happened, doesn't it? Oh, no, you've gone and told him, haven't you? He said that if I told him, I could move back in. Right, right, keep the noise down, will you? And? He was lying. This is a nightmare. What's he going to do? Oh, I don't know. Where are you going? I thought Lynn wanted some rent. I'm going to the cash point. This is not just my problem, Gary. We are both in it, up to our necks. Oh, yes, uh, all sorted, yes. She's uh, gone to go and get some cash. There you go, it weren't so hard, was it, baby? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nan! Nan, we've had a result. So that's it, is it? Well, you said I'd regret it in the morning, you know. Nan, it says we've had a visitor. What's that? Something about um, an ex-copper. Oh, that is highly sensitive information not to be disclosed by no one. Alfie. Are we in trouble? Spencer, you ask no questions, you hear no lies, all right? Listen, she said... She said it was the guy that fit you up. Yeah, well, I'll fit you up in a minute. Listen, where's me 20 quid? What 20 quid? Yeah, you know that 20 quid. I gave you 20 quid, you plum. Give me money back, come on. <laughs> and that was a bet. <laughs> Why are you having a laugh? You're not telling me... You did it! Did you? Did you? You dirty old dog, did you? Did you? And that's the you I'll take that as a no, then. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello, Di. I'm looking for a Phil Mitchell. Oh, yeah? He told me he owns this place. Yeah, well, he does, technically. Can I speak to him? Well, you'll have a job. I saw him drive away earlier on. In that case, can I have an orange juice, please? Yeah, sure. Friend of yours in? Sort of. We met at the hospital where he's... Oh, yeah, you. yeah, yeah, gotcha. It's, he lives across the road. It's 31 Albert Square. So what's a partner's dinner, then? Well, everyone chips in about 70 quid. Uh, we go to a very posh restaurant and blow the lot. 70 quid on a dinner? It's not that ridiculous in the mouth these days. Do I have to go? You don't have to, but it'd be nice. Well, I'm not sure, you know. After last time with the cock-up with the baby chickens. <laughs> you did fine that night. Besides, there's no cooking involved. So what'd you get for 70 quid then? Good food and some fabulous wine. Malcolm fancies himself as a bit of an expert, so we let him choose. So that's going to be all doctor's talk? Not at all. Uh, everyone gets very drunk and tells outrageous stories. It's fun. Do I have to get dressed up? Get yourself something. My treat. Really? Sure. And shouldn't you be at work by now? Ah, oh, it's only Alfie. He lets me get away with anything. Do you think you can stretch to something like this? What's this? There's a partner's dinner next week. Kat was just wondering what to wear. That's nice. Yeah, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna go. It sounds a bit posh for me. Don't be daft. You've got to go. Anyway, I know it's a bit later. Just wanted to make the gesture. You didn't have to do that, Zoe. Don't be silly, I wanted to. Just to show there's no hard feelings. I won't stop. Well, well, you'd have thought. I can't believe how good she's been about all this. I'm sorry he's out. Kat, listen, do you know what time it is, love? Yeah, very funny. Listen, you're taking the mick now. Do you want to get over it? No arguments, all right? Oh, that girl's got more front than Brighton. Oh, you should sack her. That's what I've just done. Do what? Yeah, I just sat in barman. I only went and pulled a sickie on New Year's Eve. Have you sacked me for that? Yeah, of course I did. I told him on your bike, mate. Well, so what are we going to do now? That's why I've come to see you. No, Sam, please, no. You're not pinching none of my stuff. No, I don't want them, thank you. You use an agency, don't you? Do I? No, I did, yeah. Number's upstairs in the book by the telephone. It's under A for agency. 
be a good boy. Go and get it, will you? Uh -huh. I'll look after you. Yeah? Oh, yes, madam. <laughs> Stick us another one in there, then, please. Second horse, don't bother. I'm not sure when you gave her the card. I don't know. She was alright, I think. That's it then. Over. Can start thinking about the future. Morning. Hi. Um, I've just got to go and get something. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, there goes lunch. <laughs> Why did he just run off like that? Bless. Poor little thing, scared out of his wits. <laughs> oh yeah. Look who's here. Hey, it's that hump from the calf. You stop it. <laughs> it's gorgeous. <laughs> when you ready, Sam? Let me in a minute, please, Ian. Yeah, can I help you? Uh, yeah, I wanted to speak to the landlord. Oh, I'm afraid he's a bit busy at the moment. Um, can I help? Yeah, I'm just looking for some bar work. Uh, I suppose there's any chance. <laughs> wow! <laughs> what? This could be your lucky day. Alfie! What? I've just done a really stupid thing. Yeah, what's new? Spence, listen, have you seen the address book? Sam says it's up here somewhere. I can't see anything. Alfie, listen! Kelly, she's just come into the pub, right? And she was, like, being really friendly and... And I just ran away. Why did I do that? Because you're a prat. Ah, I think I've got it. What's this? I've got to go back down there now. What am I going to say to her, Alfie? Fem, come on. Well, you can ask her how you're going to get rid of that horrible... Look, 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 look horrible icky on your neck. There's nothing here got about it. agencies. What? Give us a fiver. Do what? Come on, don't muck about, quickly. What, what, what are you going to do with this then? What do women want? Romance, right? Oh, let's just get this. Ah, <laughs> uh, agents. Oh, sweet. Got it. Any chance of some service in here? Where's the big bad wolf? Upstairs, it'll be down in a sec. Scotch, please, cat. It's a chance. Zoe's been telling me about this dinner you're going to. Don't be really nervous. There's nothing to worry about, is it, Zoe? Absolutely not. Do you want a drink? We were all done a meal. We were first. In a minute. Hey, they're on me. What for? Has it got to be a reason? Actually, Kelly, weren't we supposed to be meeting them blokes at half past? Oh, right. Better make a move. What blokes are these then? A bit young for you, Kat. Scotch. Oh, you made it then? Where's Sam? Just think of this as an audition, okay? <laughs> you learning from this, so I've now got him exactly where I want him. Is anyone going to get that? All well, we got to do now is find you another bloke. I don't want another bloke. What? You want the truth? I'm not too crazy about this dinner thing. I thought you was all right with it. Well, this is just a start. I mean, there'll be the ball he took me to last spring. So what? So am I supposed to have hey. go and choose the dress? I mean, what if she marries him? It's never going to happen. So but what if it does? Am I supposed to be a bridesmaid? I'll get it then, shall I? What? Is Kelly there? Or... Laura? Laura? Is she there or...? Look, not there, mate, all right? What's happened? Where's Lynn? Check the travel agent. Right, well, there's a 50 quid. Now will you please tell her to get off my back? Have you been drinking? No, no. Liar. Get this, I had to borrow the money off Pat. Ian's only gone and cut me out of our business account. I've got nothing left of my own. Look, how bad's this going to get? I need your help, Gary. You're the only person left. You're gonna have to do something. Hi, oh, Spencer. Are those for me? So, you two are now officially an item. Congratulations. Yeah, we thought it was only right that you should know. And how does they feel about this? Her and Kelly are off meeting a couple of fellas. Does that answer your question? I've got a dash. I'll see you later. Mwah. Mm. You all right, Nan? I've been told to button me lip. But don't expect me to be too happy about it. So you think it's a good idea, then? Yeah, that language under your belt is never going to harm your career prospects, is it? Yep. I'm all in favour. Harry? I can help you practice. Hey, hey, yeah. Bonjour, Ricky. <laughs> you are? Oh, it's that. It's just taking up French conversation classes, aren't you, Nan? Congratulations. So what's everybody having? Listen, I think I should be getting back. Well, don't we laugh? Well, it's not fair for Pat to babysit this time, is it? Yeah. Rick, uh, what do you want? No, I'm all right, mate. Thanks all the same. So, Zoe got over it just like that, then? Meaning? Nothing. Do you know somewhere that I don't? No. So what, then? It's one of people said what they mean. I ain't got time for this right now, Alfie. Excuse me. What? <laughs> what? What? You gave me the flowers? Not only that, she's agreed to go on a date with me. So why are you not with her now? 
Well, you should be pressing home your advantage. Well, I couldn't. She's with Zoe. So? Well, so Zoe's crying her eyes out, isn't she? It didn't seem right. Listen, that last bit, just keep under your hat. You know about Zoe? Well, as far as she's concerned. Why's that? Well, I'm, just, I'm telling you, all right? Right. Yeah. Right. So you screwed Where's Kelly? Uh, still asleep, I think. Me and Zoe are out there setting up while she's laid in bed. Right. Uh, what are you doing? Giving her a shower. She'll soon get out of her pit. Not exactly what want first thing in the morning, is it, eh? I don't know. I can see the worst surprises. Well, this ain't gonna be coming. No, I've got to get to work. Gary, please, on. Not now. And Kathleen is wearing this low cut number, exclusively designed by the House of Slater. Very sexy, uh, but. Very sexy, but. Uh, what? I think we need something a bit more sophisticated. I thought it was. It is, in a boudoir kind of way, which I like very much, but um, we need something understated. I don't know why I'm bothering. I'm only going to make an idiot of myself anyway. Oh, don't be silly. You've met my colleagues before, you'll be fine. Yeah, but it's not the same. We were friends then. This is a posh restaurant. Completely different ball game. Cat Slater? Are you bottling out on me? No. You want understated? I can do that. Of course you can. 80 pounds, cheers Lovely. mate. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Martin, these potatoes are sprouting. I better get down the old sailors. Are you leaving me? Not well, for long, do you mind? No, that's fine. You sure? Yeah. Done. Kelly's been a long time in the Vic. I thought she was only going to the ladies. I don't know what Mark's thinking about letting him work. All right, it's gonna be at work. I don't get a break, you know. Yeah, of course. Cool. Um, did you like the flowers? Nice, yeah. I gave them to Zoe, though. Made me sneeze like rotten. So how's the new palmer working out, then? Oh, oh, lucky you, shame I didn't get there first, then, really, isn't it? No, I don't mean the work sense. I mean, you ain't never going to be palmer of the year, that's for sure. Rear of the year, maybe. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> He's dropped a gorgeous, oh, ain't he? Surely not in our league, though. No, Joel's Premier League. You two are Sunday. Oh, <laughs> charming. Thank you very much. Boy, come on. You're meant to be getting rid of liquid, not pouring it down your gullet. I'm coming. Have you ever made a sale on that stall? Of course I have. Well, I ain't seen you. Well, you ain't been paying attention in that case. Come on. Ta-ta. Women, eh? I'm looking for something for this stuffy old partners do. Something classy, understated. Do you know what I mean? We're all out of twin sets, love. Ain't you funny? No wonder you don't sell anything. I could probably get you something for next week. There's this new place that does some really classy stuff. Classy. It's what I need. You're a sweetheart. Hmm. You are right about this, aren't you? Of course. Right. I'll see you later. What? I am. Yeah, right. And this is real leopard skin. A bit cold for the old. Red's a new black. Very slim and. Mm, thank you. You are joking. Bought it, didn't she? Impressed. I will be, if you sell five more today. I'm off for me break. Keep at it, girls. Ain't none supposed to be soft and cuddly? She's making you graft, that's the main thing. And you're good at it too. Don't take much. Don't kid yourself, you got away with the planters. You really think so? Yeah. It's a shame about the stock. I know. What we need is someone to come in with us, put up some dosh. Me? Why not? You've got some spare cash, I seem to remember. Ain't doing no good just lying around, is it? What, and I'd be a partner? Yeah. Maybe we could find that out. Now you're talking. <laughs> don't suppose you could change this for a good job? No, I don't suppose I could. Come on, Kelly, there's a nasty whiff round here. You can't blank him forever, Robbie. I don't know what I'd like to do to him. You and me both. You virtually grew up together. He's your friend. He was. <sighs> this is mad. He's on the market. You're just as bad as Grandad. Don't you understand? He killed Jamie. He's as guilty as hell. Doesn't that mean anything to you?
you're still alive. It's the last one we got and it looks like it's your size. Sorry, we're closed. I could have sold that and I've shifted a pair of trousers and all. Forget it, will you? Look, I thought this is what you all wanted, me pulling my weight, contributing. Whatever. We had horses at me Auntie Hilda's funeral. One of them was blind in one eye, it veering to the right. That Pauline Fowler's got a lot to answer for. It ain't her fault. Of course it is. That's what you get when you let your kids run wild. All right. Come on, Gav, we've got to go soon. Yeah, yeah. You all right, Lim? Yeah. Um, it's just all a bit sad, isn't it? Yeah. Told your wife your good news, have you? But you're going to be a daddy? You're really enjoying this, aren't you? Putting the boat in. Oh, you've had your fun, Gary. Now, you either tell Lynn about you and Laura today, or I will. Simple as that. Oh, Martin. And for the memories we treasure today. Oh, chicken, lovely. I'm starving. Didn't have any breakfast, did I? Oh, Miss Piggy, these are meant to be nibbles. Didn't anyone teach you any table manners? You forgot me or what? It's also rude to talk with your mouth full. All right. Hello, love. How was work? Oh, you know, same old. On the way to crash this morning, we bought you a little present. It's a chocolate elephant. When I was all for buying the frog, but Jack wouldn't have it. I'm gonna pull this up. Do I have to have a reason to buy the best wife and mother in wolf for the chocolate elephant? Thanks. I'll get the drinks in, shall I? Please. Right, I'll be back in a minute. Yeah. Uh, but. Barry, do you think table manners matter? Um, excuse me, sorry. Hello? Hello? What were you saying, I'm sorry? Doesn't matter. <sighs> Blues to you, Jamie, mate. Oh. oh, there you are, the light of my life. Oh, your phone went by the way, answer it. Who was it? Didn't say hung up, must have been the wrong number. Oh, right, cheers. Uh, I better bring work. You only just got back from work. Well, you alright? You know, what Sonia said back there has really made me think. We're so lucky to have each other. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course we are. I love you. Come. Come. All right. Not really. Look, I'm sorry about earlier. It's just round here. Respect and tradition and stuff. It really counts for something. I'm sorry too. I was just trying to show how serious I am about the stall. Fancy another drink? Gives a beer with your cat. I'm gasping. There's only one good thing about days like today. Oh, yeah, well, certainly. Makes you realise what's important to you. I mean, Take my Gary. I know he's not perfect, but what Sonia said at the funeral about Jamie being the love of her life, it really got to me. That's what you're saying? Gary's the love of your life? <laughs> look, someone don't have to look special, do they? Or even be special. Just as long as they're the only one for you. What did he do? I don't know, just a chat, that's all. The thing is, Kelly's still really keen to buy into the stall now. You want to offer a drink? Yes, thanks, mm. Robbie. The stall's a family business, isn't it? And that's how it should stay. I appreciate that, Mrs Harris. You've put a lot of hard work into building up the business and making it a success. You don't have to tell me that. I've been out all weathers too, remember? But Kelly's really serious, Nan. And to prove it, she wants to pay for her share in cash. Here, Alfie, do you ever notice people's table manners? Doesn't everybody? What is it they say? Manners make us a man. Or woman, if you don't want to be sexist. Yeah, but it don't matter now, does it? Not these days. I dumped a girl once for slurping her teeth. Oh, but it was putting me right off. <sighs> Only Jamie could look cool standing outside a dirty old garage, eh? Didn't he drive over Fields' foot once? Yeah, yeah. He was backing one of those people carriers into the bay. And Gary said Phil was screaming blue murder. So Jamie sticks his head out the window and says, All right, all right, I only wanted you to wave me back. Don't hit the shirt. <laughs> I really miss him, you know. Yeah. You too all right for a drink? Thanks, Robbie. Sonia all right, is she? Yeah, 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 she's, um, granddad. And giving Jamie the send-off he deserves. Oh. 
I, uh... Well, I was thinking about, uh... A time me and Jamie had to go and pick up a... A broken down van somewhere near Leighton. <laughs> it took us two hours to get there. And he was giving me some grief cos I... <laughs> I wouldn't let him play his CD. Anyhow, it... It was chucking it down with rain. <laughs> Well, we weren't speaking by the time we got there. And the bloke says to him, uh, listen, you're gonna have to take us uh, to Catford. So Jamie says, no. No, mate, no, you mean Wolford, uh, and think yourself lucky at that. Anyway, the bloke says, no, 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 you, you don't understand. I've got, I've got my grounds in the, in the back of the van and they're racing at Catford tonight. And he says to me, I, I left to sit in the front of the, the truck with you because I can't bend my knee properly. He had some plate in his leg from the Falklands or something. And then, uh, then he looked at Jamie and he said, uh, your son will have to sit in the back of the van with the dogs because he gets scared. So Jamie, he sits in the back of the van all the way to Catford with these dogs. It must have taken us a, a good couple of hours. I never told that bloke that that Jamie wasn't my son. He said he didn't have any kids and that I was lucky to have a boy. I just agreed with him. The thing is, although Jamie wasn't my son, I really wish he had been. So, I'd like you to all raise your glasses to a, a young man we're all going to miss very much. Jamie Mitchell. Jamie, Jamie Mitchell. Mitchell. You all right, babe? I just want to get out of here, all right? Yeah. I'll let go with Later, how do you do? <laughs> Cat Slater, how do you do? Cat Slater, all right. I like your hair like that. Oh, hang on a minute. That's better. You okay? You're not worried about this dinner thing? No. Oh. How much is this? Fifteen. Hmm. I think I might wear this tonight. Well, you've already got something for tonight. I, I don't think it's really appropriate. Well, it's appropriate for me, Zoe. Fifteen, yeah? Yeah. Zoe? Uh, Theresa frowned um, to confirm arrangements for this evening. All right. What do you think of this? That'd be great for clubbing. I'll see you at lunch. I've got a surprise for you. Now, there's a man who knows how to dress. You know, like 007 license to frill. <laughs> You've been talking to Pat. <laughs> I love a man in a dinner suit. Makes him seem all sophisticated. <laughs> you are joking. Robbie Williams dancing in his tux, wiggling <laughs> in his tight little bum. Right, that's uh, one with and one without. You've forgotten something. My donut. Oh, you've run out of hands. Well, you're going to have to run back and get it then, ain't you? <sighs> <laughs> I thought you were supposed to be helping out today. All I've seen so far is your impression of Houdini. Yeah, well, I had to help a damsel in distress, didn't I? What? Listen, get him off the service watch, will you? Yeah, right. Listen, Alfie, I don't suppose you've got a dinner suit upstairs I could borrow of you? What for one of those for? Oh, <laughs> let me guess, Kelly. Uh, you're not going to impress her wearing some stuffy old dinner suit, are you? Oh, yeah, but it's what she's into, Alfie. What, you mean like a fetish? A what? Oh, never mind. Listen, I think Nan's still got Granddad's old tux. Has she? Yeah, I won't get your hopes up now. It's a family heirloom. Dabs, let's get your grabby hands on it. I thought you was getting yourself. You look like you went to bed with a prince and woke up with a frog. What? 
Look, it's, it's this dinner I've got with Anthony's partners. You don't think this is a bit... you know? What are we talking about? That's perfect. That is a dress for breaking arts, in that is. You are a sight for sore eyes. Oh. Why don't I lower the please out, be in a packet of peanuts right. and whatever my lovely wife here would like. Oh, same again. Oh, yeah? What's going on here, then? You building up your strength for your second honeymoon, I say? No, it's just getting in the holiday mood, isn't you, babe? That's right, my love, just keeping you on a slow simmer. <laughs> Listen, I'll be back in a moment. I uh, promised Laura I'd go and speak to Wassie's face. Oh. Hope you got some good news for me. She was in a right state this morning. I couldn't just kick her out on the street. So let me get this straight. I throw you a lifeline and you chuck it back in my face. Do I look like a mug? No, 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 of course not. Tell you what, Gary. Why don't you have a gun? See if you can bring me some luck. You lose. Lynn? Yeah? All right, I'll do it. Come and take your old man away. He's bringing me bad luck. Sorry, I can't stay long. Anthony, about tonight. Just wanted to give you these. They belong to my mother. I thought you could wear them this evening. They look great with your new suit. Uh, you don't like them? No, they're beautiful. It's just tonight. I just don't want to muck things up for you. You'll be fine. Yeah, but last time I saw Teresa, I would. I just think it's best that I don't come. Nonsense, you'll be fine. This is a great opportunity to show people that we're serious about each other. Whatever happened in the past is irrelevant. I don't know about this. Look, just... don't worry. Everything will be fine. I'm sorry, but I really do have to get back. Look, Anthony, I... Right, Bill. Cat, I got a cream. Oh, we've been shopping. Oh, just a few bits and bobs for the ology, you know, a bit of sexy underwear and some insect repellent. You don't think you're giving Gary mixed messages? Paul Abra, I know if you're giving him the brush off or the come on. <laughs> <laughs> I said I'd only be 15 minutes, been an hour and a half. I'll see you later. Yes. See you later. <laughs> you know. I was the belle of the ball in my long satin ball gown, pleated at the back. And he was rugged and handsome, always with a hanky in his pocket and a smile on his face. I asked about Grandad's suit. Oh, yes. I've still got it upstairs. Lovingly folded away in my suitcase of memories. Great. Can I borrow it? No. <laughs> Hello. Can I leave a message for Dr. Truman, please? It's Cat Slater. No, don't disturb him. Um, can you just tell him that I can't make dinner tonight because I've got an extra shift to do? Cheers. Hey, oh, the trials and tribulations are being. Hi, Alfie. Is Cat around? Yeah, she. I got a message about working extra shift. It's just that tonight isn't really convenient. No, Tracy phoned in sick and it's left us in a right old mess, isn't that right, Alfie? Yeah, 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 that's right. Well, I've got the accounts to sort out, Doc, otherwise it wouldn't be a problem. And there really is no one else? I've been ringing around all afternoon and I've had no luck. I see. Um, I'll let Teresa know. I don't want to go for the poncy meal, all right? Get the man was devastating. Needs a bit more support. What use am I going to be? Look at me. I'm 30 something, and what have I got to show for it? I've got no O levels, and I've got a part time job in the Vic. <sighs> I can't believe you. What are you talking about? You're cat slay. You eat people like that for breakfast. What if it's the other way around? I bet I won't know what knife to use. I'll make myself look a right old mug, won't I? Don't you worry, darling, because I will teach you the basics. <laughs> you? Okay, yeah, I've frequented some of the finest restaurants in the country, all right? I've done silver service, a la carte. Local Balty House. Just worry about a thing. You leave it to me. I will have you eating like a princess. <laughs> Dad was a builder. You know, self-employed, worked long hours. Dad, da I promise you silver service. So if you'd like to sit down, a beautiful one, and take note. You're nuts. No, 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 no. It's like putting on a show, you know, getting into a role. It's like, you know, new dress, bit of lippy. So, OK, remember, right, napkin, first things. Always on your lap, never stuff down your shirt, all right? Drinking glass to the right, side plate to the left. Bread roll, always break with your hands. And cutlery, always work from the outside in. So where'd you learn this? Well, I was a waiter at Clarendon Hotel in Scarborough. All right, how long for? Two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Doing fine. 
Oh, well, you want to then? Got an interview with a bank manager? <laughs> Uh, drink, Kat? Yeah, I'll have a double. A double vodka and tonic and a pint, please, Alfie. Thanks a lot for letting Kat have the time off. I hope he doesn't left you short-staffed. No, no problem. No, crisis management is my forte. <laughs> it's thirsty work, though. And one yourself. Thank you. Ignore her. She ain't laughing at you. It's just been one of them days. I think it's really good you're doing all this for Anthony. So, what happened to knock dead number, then? Well, it's all about putting on a show, isn't it, Alfie? Anyone fancy a quick one over the road? Uh, no, thanks, Dad. We're saving our cash. Oh, no? No, thanks. There's a film coming on, I fancy. A comedy. I'll do with a laugh. Anyone seen Laura? Uh, she's, uh, nipped out. I thought there was more room on the sofa. Oh, you, you can have day trips to Casablanca. Listen to this, Gail. Visit the biggest mosque in Africa, once owned by Hassan II. You want to see the size of the palace? Must have been where he kept his concubines. Are you listening, Gal? What? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. King, um, what's his name the second year? Sounds expensive. It's a double Alfie. That's garage. Yeah, I could say that. I've just worked it out. You look like the woman from the Adams family. You know, Morticia. Yeah? Well, you look like a slapper. <laughs> I was only joking, Kat. It's a bit early to be knocking him back. I'm fine. I know, I just think you should pace yourself. I am. I have another one. Actually, we should go, Cap. Oh, can't we stay just for one more? Not really, no. Spence? What are you up to? I heard the floorboards creaking your name. I just wanted to have a look, Nan, that's all. But you can't just take something that doesn't belong to you, you know? What's so special about this, Kelly? You would understand, Nan. Well, try me. I don't know. She's just different. Oh. She's got this great smile, and it's really pretty. You must think I'm really wet. A smile that catches your breath and makes your heart sing. Oh, I'm sorry, Nan. I just wanted to impress her, you know. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> Hold your arms out. Like this. What's this for? That's right. What? You mean? Yes! <laughs> oh, man, you're a star. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, Teresa, this is Kat. Kat, Teresa. Hi. We haven't met before, Anthony. Well, it's very nice to meet you again. Yeah. This is my husband, Mark. Hi. Delighted to meet you. <laughs> Let me guess. Kat. Short for Catherine? Kathleen. But just call me Kat. But what is the po- I'd like to propose a toast. To a continued partnership. May it be blessed with good health, ours of course, <laughs> and may we enjoy many more evenings like this. A continued partnership. A, a continued, continued partnership. Mmm, a classic. It costs a pretty penny. <laughs> that means it's any good. Oh, <laughs> completely right. What was it Oscar Wilde said? People know the price of everything and the value of nothing? <laughs> <laughs> How's the foie gras, um, Malcolm? Mmm, it's wonderful. And the tuna? It's perfect. The soup? Cat? What? The soup. What, am I using the wrong spoon? I was just wondering how it was. It's great. The downfall of the NHS was when the patient became a commodity. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> she always was a mess eater. What? I was only joking. You okay? Just going to the bog. Stop your washroom. What are you going along? Uh, it's courtesy to rise when a lady leaves the table. It's a culture of cynicism. I'm not sure you should have any more to drink. You need to relax more. Look at the research. Evidence supports the changing values of modern society. <laughs> I think you've had enough. <laughs> Give me the glass. I don't think so. Down the hatch. Now you are talking, Malcolm. That's enough. Oh. 
happy now? Right. Just, just, just leave it, Cat. It's mainly big bits. What are you looking at? Just a bit of spilt wine, it doesn't matter. Just go back in there with your fancy friends. You're being ridiculous. Is that right? Well, then you can have a good laugh, can't you? What are you talking about? No one's laughing at you. This is all your fault. Look at me. Look like some sad old cow. There's nothing wrong with the way you look. You would say that, wouldn't you? You were doing so well. Look, this is me, Cat Slater. Not Kathleen, but Cat. What you see is what you get. Now, I can't go back. I can't learn what you know. I'm always going to feel like I'm not good enough. Just calm down. You've had a lot to drink. Look, I'm being honest with you here. What is the big deal? We're just having a dinner with a, with a few colleagues. I don't fit in and I never will. Cat. Someone got out of bed the wrong side this morning. Wrong side of the square. <laughs> it's that Anthony's last night. Sally! Bathroom oh, street, sorry. But you can't help morning sickness. What's your bit of that hotel, gal? Yeah. Do you want a cup of tea, Laura? Not for a minute, thanks. Sally! Oh, I did the first time! Hell! Oh, Are you going to move out today? Oh, if you give me the money, yeah. Good. Then I'll come back during my tea break with it, yeah? Fine. I'll be waiting with my bags packed. Now Zoe's in there. Don't worry, there'll be one less tomorrow. Oh? I'm moving out today. No, I didn't mean it like that. No, 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 no. I've been here long enough already. Well, uh, you can stay as long as you like as far as me and Gary are concerned. Isn't that right? Yeah, yeah. Well, you've been about as much as Martin did. Do you know, today could be the day you quit that filthy habit. And today could also be the day I take that phone and stick it with a sundown shine. Mm. Uh, Teresa, hello. It's Anthony here. Yes, just a quick call. Um, I thought I ought to apologise for our rather abrupt departure last night. Anthony. And, uh, um, well, well, yes, I, th I think nerves did play a part. That and a significant excess of Dutch courage. Anthony. And, uh, anyway, anyway, I... Yeah, that's all I really wanted to say. Is that Teresa? So. Uh, yes. Let me have a word with her. Hello, Teresa. It's Kat. Listen, I'm really sorry about last night. I don't know about Dutch courage. I think it was more the Russian vodka that was the problem. Look, each room's got a balcony. To... You were a little oversensitive. Maybe I wasn't comfortable. And this soup don't help. Why? Was it too tight? <laughs> I think you look great, whatever you're wearing. And I'm really sorry if you didn't feel at ease. Well, let's just put this down to experience, and tonight we'll do something we both want to do. Sounds like you've got something planned already. Well, no, not exactly, but um, how about this for the perfect evening? We'll order some takeaway in, and we'll rent a video, and then we'll curl up together on the sofa, just the two of us. It's perfect. Am I glad to see you? So is that what you were into court? So you argued with his friends, picked a fight with a woman on another table. Look, I've apologised to Anthony and he's all right about it. But he's no angel, you know, and I don't need a lecture from you. Well, why do you always do these things? I don't know, it must be hormonal. <sighs> Seen this? Oh, I'm up for it. What about you, Kat? No, I've got plans. <laughs> yeah, right. Like you could get Anthony to go clubbing. Oh, well, you're robbing the place, are you? They've got cameras up, you know. Hey, Kat, you still haven't told me how you got your posh dinner. All right, let's see. Napkin, bread knife, soup spoon, glass. Broken glass. Rare with the woman, door slam, home. Still, it's nice to get out once in a while, isn't it? <laughs> Any chance I can have tonight off and all? Well, you need to sort your life out. Boy, might as well. Club's going to nick all our trade anyway. Oh. You, Alfie, are a diamond. New cat can make up the hours at the weekend. It was a little bit shorter. Oh, yes, Cinderella. You shall go to the ball. <laughs> yeah, what do you think about the trousers, though, Alfie? They're not too short, are they? No, I, I've let them down as far as I can, lovey. Here's Spence, but no, if you crouch down a bit, you see, no one will notice. Well, come along, <laughs> William. Take it off 
and I'll give it a good press. Oh, thanks, man. See you later, boys. See ya. She's calling me Granddad's name. Oh, is this suit in it? Mm, it's not too old fashioned, is it, Alfie? Well, you're wearing it tonight, William. No matter what. <laughs> Here we are. Celebrating? Celebrating what? Well, like having the house to ourselves again. Or only having to work one more day this week before the weekend. Oh, whatever. Yeah, we're going to go for a quick drink and then get a takeaway. Yeah, my treat, eh? Saves me cooking anyway. What, are you off out all? Yeah, I'm taking Anthony to the club. Oh, you look really nice, Kat. Do you think so, Lynn? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I should have wore this last night. <laughs> oh, thanks for coming. You know me, Sam, never miss a party. It's all right, isn't it? Yeah, great. You don't want to make sure that's on tight, because we've got a lot of dancing to do, Doctor. Oh, you made it. Welcome, what's it? Large being old shoes, darling. And for you, Anthony, a nice pile of orange juice and lemonade. Wait, yeah. What are you getting that for? That's what you asked for. He's on call, you know. Oh, been there, done that. <laughs> hey, is that a page in your pocket? I'm just pleased to see me. <laughs> oh, Kelly. <laughs> is that your boyfriend, Kelly? I didn't know he belonged to the Ant Hill mob. <laughs> What do you think, Kelly? No offence, Spence, but you look like a waiter. <laughs> so let me get you a drink. I've already got one, thanks. Then how about a dance? But you do the foxtrot, Kelly. Kelly, I thought you said you liked him in his suits. <laughs> well, yeah, but that looks like something my granddad wore. <laughs> well, you know what? This is my granddad's suit. If it was good enough for him, it's good enough for me. Spence, I was only joking. Ah! Problem. <laughs> Have a scotch, please, Alfie. Make it a large one. Well, hey, you weren't gone long. Yeah, well, uh, Kelly didn't like me in a suit after all. All right, then. Oh, hello, Spence. I thought you were out for the evening. Yeah, uh, it wasn't much of a do, you know. Isn't just it? had a quick drink and dance and left them to it. Oh. And what did your young lady think of the suit? Oh, she loved it. I knew she would. I loved your grandfather in it. That's it! Let your hair down! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> you alright? I don't know, I think so. Still fancy Anthony, huh? Well, no, that's just it. I think I am finally over him. Well, it took you a while, but you've got here in the end. Yeah! Oh, sorry, it's just a fossil up. Look, can't you get the battery out of this or something? Joke. I mean, look at this. We're the oldest people in here. All right, Ian. Mind if I join you? Oh, well, okay. I was really pleased you evicted Laura today. We didn't evict her. It was her idea to go. Well, what I can't work out is why you let her stay in the first place. Well, she had to stay somewhere, Ian. She's pregnant. I couldn't just throw her out in the streets. Oh, right. Woman in need and all that. Not as if she's family or anything. We'd do the same to anyone. Even after what she's done to me. There are two sides to every story, Ian. We don't want to hear either of them. We're not passing judgment. Can I uh, get anyone a drink, Ian? That was very generous of you. You're really pushing the boat out. I'll have a large scotch. No, the, uh, the true villain of this is the man who got my wife up the duff. So, uh, go and take it out on him, yeah? Hurry up and stick us a large scotch in here, will you, Alfie? Oh, all right, keep your hair on. Laura didn't name who the uh, proud father was going to be, did she? No. We didn't ask. Oh. You didn't try guessing? Have a slate of sweepstake? We don't care, we're not interested. No, I don't suppose it matters to you who the father is. It matters to me. So, I would like to propose a toast to the lucky man. Will you join me in raising your glasses to the proud father to be? Congratulations, Gary.
It's not true, is it? No! No, no! No, 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 no! Leave it, Gary! Leave it! No, Lynn, listen to me. But Lynn, I'm sorry! Yes, away! Lynn, wait! Leave her, Gary! Oi, 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 Gary! No! <laughs> In love. Please, Dad, just, just go away. Leave me alone, yeah? <laughs> All right, folks, the show's over. I want to talk to her. A bit late for that, wouldn't you say? Don't you think you've said enough for one night? In case you haven't noticed, I'm the injured party. Yeah, yeah, and why don't you go to the gents and clean yourself up, mate? I've got a ceiling, all right? I've got to explain to her. Not till you tell us what's going on. Listen, you go upstairs and sort your head out. Come on. Yeah, Alfie's right. Go on. I'm sorry. What's he saying? Is he saying that it's true? Don't let's jump to conclusions, Mo. We haven't heard Gary's side yet. I don't want to hear about it either. Not if he's let Lynn down. Bill should have kept his big mouth shut. Told her in private. He's only trying to help. You don't give us stuff who you hurt, do you? As long as you get your pound of flesh. Well, I hope you're happy now. Come on, open up! Hey, 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 hey! We have a little break on the front door. Hey, 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 sister, you all right? Um, is Laura here? No, no, she left about half hour ago. Um, it doesn't matter. We talk. I've got them blown it, haven't I? Stupid. Stupid. Oi, 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 what good are you going to be to anyone if you can't give yourself a concussion on top of everything else, eh? I never meant to hurt Lynn. It wasn't like that. Well, I would have told her when the time was right, when I thought that she could cope with it. Yeah, of course. It's meant to be our baby. Mine and Lynn's. Lynn was seeing someone before, but I still took her back. It's not a competition, Gary. Look, I didn't do it to get even, all right? I love her. Now I've got to find her, right? Tell oi, you made oi, a mistake. Oi. Tell her I didn't mean it. Oi, oi, oi. Hold your horses, you've got to think these things through, otherwise you're going to make things a hundred times worse. Alfie. Yeah, I'll be with you in a minute, Trace, right? You get one chance to tell your side of things in a situation like this. You blow it, then you've had it. She's never going to forgive me, is she? No, I never wanted this. Gary, yours is not the first marriage to get into trouble and still pull through, but you've got to be on the level. I am. You sure? Some people say if you strayed once, then... But then, then, listen, maybe you and Lynn wasn't meant to be. I want you to calm down, you have a wash, think things through, okay? Then you go over there and you fight for her. I'll fight for her, right? You didn't seem to mind so much when it wasn't your husband. <laughs> I've had to try that new wine bar on the high street. Oh, the Spanish one? Yes, but I ain't got my cast the next. Oh, what do you reckon, Kat? <laughs> No, it's all right. Oh, well, never mind, Dave. If I find any spur bullfighters, we'll grab you. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you and Chef? I'll call you. Yes, I got some <laughs> The minute you walked in the doctor, I can see you. You know, you could have gone with them if you wanted to. Ah, oh, what's wrong with getting an early night? Sounds nice. Yeah. Just like in the films, you, me, crackling fire, and a sheepskin rug. I've been taking a look around the B&B recently. <laughs> right then, I suppose I have to make do of an extra duvet and a hot water bottle. Oh, sorry. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to have to go. I'm really sorry, Kat. You're all right. Go on. You going to be all right getting home? Yeah. I'll see you. Oh, so they sent you over, did they? What? It's not what you think, Kat. I was going to tell her, OK? I was going to sort everything out. Is someone going to tell me what's going on? So how long 
What's this been going on? Look, it was a one-off, all right? It wasn't serious. A one-off? Is that all you could manage? Gary's going to see Lynn now. Oh, that's nice. So what are you going to say to her? Sorry, but I've got my leg over with the woman that lives up the road. Oh, you better get a move on. No, he ain't going nowhere. I ain't finished with him yet. Look, this ain't your business, Cat, all right? This is my sister we're talking about here, Gary. It's got nothing to do with you, OK? Let's let them sort it out, eh? Not about you. I could do with a drink. About earlier, I wasn't... I didn't... What else can we do? I can't even pop out for a drink without half my family getting into a punch-up. And my sister's marriage falling apart. What's this, a bridge party? No, no. Whenever we went to Margate as kids, right, we was always sick in the back of the bus. Charming. Some of them got us to play snap and it always calmed our nerves. We were so dead set on winning, we was always forgetting to throw up. <laughs> so what'd you say, eh? Winner gets £1.50. Come on. Fiver. Fiver? It's a bit serious, isn't it? You ain't seen me play snap. All right. I've got Grandad watching my every move. Snap! If I known you were the under 16 Wolford girl snap champion, I'd never challenge you. Us Slater girls just like to win, that's all. Oh, I had noticed. <laughs> oh. Did you ever wish you was 18 again? No, no, thanks. Mm. Mm. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Friday nights when I was 18, we used to go mental. Yeah. Just getting ready to go out, we used to have a laugh. We used to go down the pub, cider and black, and clubbing. Brilliant, I loved it. Yeah, you sure you remember ain't playing tricks on your love? I ain't that old. Yeah. Snap! <laughs> oh, I ain't no, you distracted me! Oh, listen, none of us are getting any younger, cat. What are you trying to do, make me feel better? No, well, you know, it's times like this, you're thinking of, like, you know, you've grown older, settling down. Stands to reason, doesn't it? All right, next time we are going to play poker and none of this letting you win just to cheer you up. Let me win! You men, you just can't admit defeat, can you? Yeah. You know, I've been thinking about Gary and Lynn. I mean, they're not exactly happy, are they? Maybe they should call it a day. Well, that's what marriage is all about, isn't it? Not expecting too much, just making do. Well, is that what you want? Do you know what, Alfie? I don't know what I want. I never have and I never will. We've had our problems before, ain't we? I ain't right for him. He won't say anything, but... He's a doctor, isn't he? It stands to reason. I've tried to change myself. Wear the right clothes. Be the hostess with the mostess. Thing is, it just ain't me, is it? But, Kat, you, you want to make it work. I mean, that counts for a lot. I mean, when you love someone. I mean, you do love him, didn't you? We could still have you. Look, I ain't leaving, all right? <laughs> Lynn! Are you telling me you're doing this for a bloke that you don't even love? No, look, Anthony is a really good man. He's the best. And he really does care for me. That's not what I'm asking you, Kat. Listen, call me old-fashioned, but getting into a relationship isn't easy. Keeping it together is even harder still. But if you feel you ain't sure, Kat, you need to tell him now before there's too much damage done. No, it's too late for that. So he really loved him. And she sacrificed him for me, and if I put him back on the market, well then... It's all been for nothing, innit? I've made me bed, haven't I? We've got so much... Look at all them stars. See that? Orion the Hunter. <laughs> what I want to know is why they don't give them normal names, like... Jimmy the Bricklayer. Or Cat the Car Player. Any time you want a rematch... You channel lost ten quid tonight. I ain't made of money. Night, then. Night. Here Have a nice cup of tea at least, eh, love? No, Tom. You're going to need that to keep your strength up. What for? To help me out. Kneecapping that lying, cheating, worthless husband of yours. For heaven's sake, Cat. He was keeping out of my way this morning, Dad. But he'll be over here sooner or later, making them big, sad cow's eyes of his. And I'm telling you now, and... There you go. Talk of the devil. I'll get it. Ah, oh, thanks a lot. That's 
for you, love. So why there? Out of all the places, why come over to the B and B? I'll be fair, Kat. He didn't get his marching orders until late last night. Where else is he supposed to go? All right. So it just happens that he turns up at the place where the mother of his kids live in. It's a coincidence, that's all. I've got this one golden rule in life, Dad. Never believe in words you can't spell. <laughs> Surprise! Hola, senorita. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? Are you sure you can't find anyone else? Okay, well, just do the best you can. Bye bye. All right. I hope you're not planning anything for my birthday, because I told you I want it cancelled. Actually, I've been sorting out the catering for my talk to the over 60s. My seminar on healthy eating, I did tell you about it. Yeah, right, yeah. Only thing is, um, they can't actually guarantee anyone to hand out the refreshments. It seems their regular waitress has gone down with the flu. Oh, she best stay away then, eh? Yes, yeah, so really does sort of leave me with a problem. Yeah. I'm sure you'll sort it out. One, two, please. So, you're back to work, I see. Yeah. Must be nice, eh? Getting back to normal. I'm not getting back to normal, Robbie. I don't think I'll ever get back to normal again. You don't deserve to, neither. After what you've done. Yeah, yeah, no, that's great, that's great. That's, um, that's really terrific news. Yeah, all right, thank you. See you later, bye-bye. Good news. Randy, that makes a change, doesn't it? No, it's a brewery. Seems we've gone and won that competition. What competition? Oh, the best East End pub of the year. What? Oh, rock on, Tommy, yeah. That's just what we need. Yeah, the brewery's going to send round a rep to do a piece on the place, you know. Hmm. Hmm. He's bringing a photographer from the Gazette as well. What are we going to do? Charlie? Look, please. You got. <laughs> hey, cat. <laughs> da -da. What do you think then? No, that wouldn't suit you, Alfie. Not your colour for starters. No, it's yours. It's a present. What are you getting me presents for? Well, that competition we won, right? We got a photographer coming round. You know, and I was thinking, you know, they don't want my ugly mug plastered all over the paper, especially if we're supposed to be putting the punters in, aren't we? Right, but a flash of mine. Exactly. Do I get to keep it after? Well, like you said, it's not my colour, is it? Ain't gonna go back to the store or nothing. Kathleen, please, you don't have me down for a skin fling, do you? Do I get extra pay? Seeing how this is, strictly speaking, Alfie, extra duties. Yeah, all right. All right, fair enough. This place will be deaf for me, Spencer. You love it. Spencer, I'm getting far too old for this sort of hassle. Is this Alfie Moon talking? Oi. Hey. It's Chris Wright talking. Remember that, all right? Wow, cat. Mm -hmm. Do you like it? We're going to make this week's paper extra difficult, though. <laughs> <laughs> I just hope none of Anthony's partner's copaganda at it. They'll have a fit. Things are a little bit iffy. Did I say things were iffy between me and Anthony? In not so many words, yeah, last night. And maybe he's just a bit posh for me. Got to get used to it, haven't I? It doesn't matter what the reason is. If something's not right, it's not right, is it? <sighs> They're here. Mr. Wright. Hi, I'm Mike Parker. We spoke on the phone. This is Jimmy Metcalf, photographer from the Gazette. Jimmy? You must be really chuffed, Mr. Wright. These competitions are great PR. Yeah, yeah, no, well, I'm um, moving moon. Please call me Chris. I mean, Mr. Wright's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? Brilliant. What, what is? Mr. Wright. What? Well, that could be the title of the whole piece. Queen Victoria finds her Mr. Wright. Get it? And we could maybe have a shot of you in the bust. <laughs> and Jimmy's also thinking of getting some action shots. You know, pulling pints, maybe chatting to some of the punters. What do you think? Well, what do I think? Well, Mark, I'm a big believer in giving credit where credit is due. I mean, where would this pub be without its loyal, hard-working staff? You know, and... Well, maybe we should give them some of the limelight. I mean, do you want the bust? Or do you want... All right. So where do you want me? Put in a pine? Or cleaning the bar? 
What's everyone getting at me for? I'm the innocent party in all this. You and them both. Yeah. We should still get a picture of you, though, Chris. I'll oh, leave it out, Mike. Would you rather see splashed over your morning paper, eh? A body to die for, or this? Fine, kids, this would. <laughs> I'll have to do something about those pictures if that skirt gets any higher. Well, you leave it out, Kay. You'll be flashing your knickers in a minute. What knickers? Oh. <laughs> it was Alfie's idea. Really? The Queen Vickers won a competition. What, and he suggested you dress up like this to celebrate? It's for the picture in the paper. I was only helping him out. Oh, so you've no problem helping some people out then? <sighs> Chris! Cheers, Chris. Your barmaid seems to have gone off the whole thing for some reason. Tough. So sorry. What for? Well, for landing unit with the doctor. I mean, I saw his face earlier when he copped you in that clubber. Oh, we'll talk about sucking lemons. Well, he was right, wasn't he? What was I thinking of? Oh, well, you're only having a bit of fun. <laughs> Didn't see him laughing, did you? Yeah, well, maybe you and him just don't share the same sense of humour. Maybe it's about time I grew up a bit. <laughs> what? Look at me. I've got a lovely man who's holding down a really responsible job. And what do I do? Act like I'm 16 again. Yeah, well, Kat, listen, there's nothing wrong with being young at heart. Well, not anymore. How long have you been your own boss? Why don't you put me on, 21? Oh, great. Thanks for nothing. You're right. The caterers. Now they can't even provide the food because all the kitchen staff have gone down as well. Well, that's no problem. I mean, it's supposed to be a practical demonstration of healthy eating. What good is that without any actual food? Well, I'll help out. What? Look, I can knock up some grub just as easily as any poncy caterer. And I can dish it up and all. But Anthony, this is your work. It's your life. It's only right that I should support you. Actually, I thought you'd gone off my work. My life. Me. No chance. Come here. Oh, hold on. Laura! It's the father to be on the phone. Guess that. What do you want with Laura? Don't you think you cause enough trouble? Oh, it's you. Yeah, well, she's been phoning here too. Yeah, she's been phoning here to speak to me. Yeah, well, I'm just ringing back to tell her to back off. Yeah, you do that, Gary. Because if I catch you sniffing my Laura again, I'll have you. Who was that? Someone's going to be needing a doctor if he ain't careful. I'm sorry. I just feel a bit uncomfortable with this, do you know what I mean? It can't look good on Link, can it? It's not very long with me sharing ass with a tartar husband knocked up. Uh, things have been tough for Laura as well. <laughs> so, what's all this about you needing a doctor? Why, what are you prescribing? How about this? Oh, you got a split in that bag. You're gonna go dropping your nipples all over the square. Oi! What's going on with you and Gary? Haven't you heard? We're having a baby. Oh, you think it's funny, do you? No, I don't think it's funny having a child and bring it up on your own without a family. Not that you'd know anything about that. Oh, it's a nice one that is, isn't it? <laughs> Things looking up then, are they? Not exactly, no. Listen, uh, I don't suppose you've got last week's rent, have you? Because uh... You'll be lucky, yes. Yep, yeah, I have, actually. Oh, nice one. Only I didn't want to ask because I know you, you know, being skint and all that. I'm only skint because Ian robbed me of all my money. Uh, I think we can wait a bit longer for the money, can't we, Paul? No, no, no. I want you to have it here. Ah. And then I'll go and clear out my room. Laura, we don't want you to leave. Well, I was thinking of leaving anyway. You see, it's a bit uncomfortable sharing a house with the tart whose brother-in-law knocked me up. Oh. Was it something I said? Look, I just want to speak to you, that's all. Yeah, well, I've got nothing. Here I feel. Hey, what are you like with real now? What are you talking about? 
Oh, some reps just dropped over a load of free samples for us. But it's all like stupid names, I don't understand it, me. I ain't got a clue, I'm a lager drink anyway. I mean, it could taste like dishwater for all I know. It's not really my thing either. What about Peggy? Well, she'll drink anything. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what. Why don't you leave it with me? Huh? What? All right, Billy. All right. How was your holiday? Oh, it was brilliant. We had a blinding time. Oh, good. Wake's upstairs. Shut it, you. What? Oh, you're not wearing that by choice, are you? What do you mean? Well, it's not very you, is it? Maybe it's suitable for my years, Alfred. Well, yeah, if you're up in front of the judge. Oh, I get it. This is the new you, isn't it? All oh, right, so we're going to get for your birthday then. What, a blue ring? It's a hairnet? Before you get any ideas, I don't want any fuss this year. I'm 28 again, and that's where it stops. I don't need to get any older. Oh, listen, birthday girl, if it a loose end, you know the bowls team have got a private function, you'd fit in right there. What is your problem, Alfie? Can't I turn over a new leaf if I want to? Yeah, but there's nothing wrong with the way you are. You know, I really am going to miss the old cat. You know, what a great character she was. Oh, whatever happened to her last day, she joined a convent. Watch it, you. Then I heard she married a doctor. I'm sorry for just coming round. Look on the bright side. At least it's cheaper than the gym. Yeah, but at least at the gym you've got fit people to look at. What we got here, the Antiques Roadshow? You know, I think it might be a good idea to put some of this food in the fridge. Um, we could save it for tomorrow. No, thanks. I don't really fancy eating rabbit food on my birthday. No, it's just... Well, it was supposed to be a surprise, but... I've invited a few people around. I'm planning a special birthday tea. That's nice. You haven't got anything planned, have you? No, but I thought we could go to a club or something. At our age, I think it's more fun having people around, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I suppose. <coughs> uh, oh, hello. Um, uh, it's very healthy of you all to come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm Dr. Truman, but then I think most of you already know that. And uh, this lady is Kat. She's my partner. Oh. Oh. <laughs> right, what I'd like you to do now is jot down what you think you eat, drink and smoke on an average day. And uh, try and be as honest as possible. That old boy in the wheelchair smells like a damp flannel. I heard that. And it's me legs that don't work, not me ears. <laughs> oh, cat, that's not funny. All right, keep your ear on. Grandma. <laughs> yeah, well, you did not. Oh, I couldn't stand the smell in there any longer. Let's just hope it was mothballs. <laughs> what are you doing out here? I was hoping Trim Brandon might show up. <laughs> Let's just say the earth moves. <laughs> about you then? When's that doctor going to put a, a ring on your finger? It's not ready, I suppose. There's no harm in playing the field a bit. <laughs> I've played a few of them in my time. <laughs> what really matters is that you love him. I was married for 47 years to a man I never loved. He wasn't mean or anything, no. He was just Boring. Do you know, on the day he died, I didn't shed a single tear, not one, because I suddenly realised that having been trapped all those years, I was free. <laughs> I tell you, Cat, if I was your age again, nothing would get me back up that aisle, neither love nor money. Well. It doesn't look as though my Mr. Wright's going to come along, does it? So, I'm going off to have a drink. Here, do you fancy one? No, thanks. You just take care of yourself. You and all, Doris. Dad and Paul will be here soon. Oh, well, actually, I was thinking of nipping home to see the family for a bit. Okay, you do that and I'll finish up here. How about...
tonight I treat us to a Thai meal. Take away. I get a video and some wine and we make it really romantic. Yeah, all right. Hey, guess what? Um, the partners from work have all called to say that they can make it to the tea tomorrow night. And you know what that means? What? More present. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Rules are there for a reason. If I let you move in without a deposit, what happens when you... Oh yeah, quick, get him in. He's only got a win on the dogs. Oh, logo, please. Now, uh, I need a favour from the two of you tomorrow night. Favour? Uh, look, I think I might be tied up tomorrow night, you know. Yeah, me too. What is it? Oh, it's just I'm putting on a drinks party for Cat. Hey, what is all this? First a special lunch, then a drinks party. Then you think you're getting a bit overboard of all this, bro? No. Just want to show Cat how much she means to me and give her a birthday to remember. So will you help me or not? You know, I think it might be Anthony's wrong after all, huh? Yeah. Large whiskey, please, Alfie. Mmm, that's the nicest one. What's that? Oh, you ain't drunk that one, have you? I got that out of the slops bucket to wine mum up. Uh, yeah. I wouldn't put it past him, either. You should have told us you were coming up. Could have planned something. He doesn't like surprises. Never has. Even as a kid, I used to have to tell him what his birthday presents were in advance. <laughs> Same again, Alfred. Right. I'm off. <clears throat> I think maybe you've had enough here. I think maybe you should mind your own business. Think about that women's refuge of yours. I beg your pardon? Oh, you heard me. I don't know how you got the nerves to let her live under your roof. Laura's a nice girl. Oh, and you're a really good judge of women, aren't you? I like to think so. Any bloke who thinks he's got his woman sorted needs to go get his head tested. What's that supposed to mean? It means that they'll all screw you into the ground in the end and treat you like dirt. It means they've all got something they're hiding. Leave it, son. Leave it, leave it. It ain't worth the effort. You know something, Ian? It's a blessing, Laura's baby and yours. I mean, the thought of another Ian Beale in this world is too much to handle, you know. What did you say? What <laughs> the you made me do? You know, I didn't realize that you're that scared of me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ha ha. Very funny. Look at me, eh? Look at stupid me. I'm... Well, come on then, laugh. I mean, that's all you think I'm good for, isn't it? Well, come on then. All right, that's it. Oh, get off me. Come on. Don't uh, drink here anyway. No. I was just coming to find you. Good. Well, I've got the wine and the video. All we need now is the food. Well, the thing is, my family are making me a meal. You know, they're all fussing round, you know, so I think I'm going to stay here tonight. Everything's OK, though, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I promise. Um, they just like me to wake up here on my birthday. Well, it's your choice. Yeah, it's my choice. Sorry to mess you about. That's all right. I mean, we'll have plenty more romantic nights in, won't we? Yeah. Jania, she changed her mind. 